Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Steak Insanity. Today is day 70 of my carnivore diet. And sorry, there's a bit of light for us. Um, <clears throat> so I had an interesting day today. But first, let's just get the details out of the way. Um, had a pretty good sleep last night, nearly seven hours. So that was good. And yeah, uh, went to the gym again today. So got another 5k run in another half an hour of cardio, um, which gave me nearly 14,000 steps. And about I've only had about 1400 calories today. So a little bit low on the calorie side for doing the exercise, but <clears throat> but I'll make that up tomorrow. And yeah, under 20 grams of carbs today, which is really good. Um, 93 grams of fat and 111 of protein. So again, I didn't have that many calories. So the, the macros are pretty low, but I feel good. Um, and I basically was in bed for half the day. So that partly explains it. Um, it was another one of those lazy Sundays. It's Mother's Day in the UK. So everyone in the house was quite relaxed today. We didn't do anything. Um, so that was all good. Now, the best thing about today is today was the first day that my wife actually noticed that I've lost some weight and I'm looking better. 70 days it's taken. <laughs> and this, I guess, is what happens when you're married for 20 years. But um, finally today, I had um, got out of the shower and was getting dressed and she's like, wow, you you actually look like like the diet's working. You're losing a bit of weight. You look really good. And I was like, okay, 70 days <laughs> that's taken. Um, so obviously it's working and, um, and we'll see, um, what the weight's like tomorrow. And then we'll, we'll have a little bit of a, a check-in and see where we're at. But, um, yeah, obviously it's starting to work. So that was good. That made me feel really good about everything. So I've been in a good mood today. The other thing is I, I ran across some throwaway comment on some other page where somebody was talking about L-lysine and how L-lysine can promote fat burning. And I was really curious about that because I've always taken L-lysine, but I only take it when I get cold sores. And um, a friend of mine who was a, a pharmacist told me that a long time ago. He's like, don't put any of the creams, anything like that. He's like, as soon as you feel uh, a cold sore starting to come, take like 2000 milligrams of, of L-lysine and then, but take it at night before you go to bed. And then every night before you go to bed, then take another thousand milligrams until it goes away. And I have found that that, for me anyway, that works amazingly. For anybody who's ever had a cold sore, they can be really difficult. They get all crust, like they're super sore. They get crusty, like it's really not nice. But if you take the L-lysine, like as soon as you notice that it's coming, it just makes it so much nicer and it goes away so much faster. And that's all I've ever used it for. I've never taken it for anything else, but I've gone down a bit of a rabbit hole with it this evening and it looks like it has loads of benefits, but one of them is the ability to burn fat. It, it promotes, it doesn't burn fat. It promotes the conversion of fat to usable energy. So, a side effect is, is you lose fat. And what's interesting is, is that meats, um, particularly beef and, and, and your meats and anything high in protein is usually high in L-lysine as well. So that would totally fit with the diet. And if you understand that the meats are, are raising your L-lysine levels, which is then promoting the burning of the easier burning of fat, then that would totally make sense as to why, or partly why the diet works. So I'm curious to know if anybody watching has ever tried L-lysine as a supplement, and if you have, how much you've tried. I have 1,000 milligram tablets, so I might try it for a week <clears throat> and just see. I mean, I've taken them before. I know it doesn't do any harm for sure, and I know I, I can get on with it just fine. So maybe I'll try it for a week and see, see if that makes any difference or if I can tell or... Yeah, 
anyway. So just curious about that. And there's supposed to be a bunch of other benefits to it as well. And it's one of those things that your body doesn't make on its own and you only get from food. So again, seems like something that would be good as a supplement, sort of like vitamin D. I know your body makes vitamin D, but if you supplement vitamin D, it's exactly the same as your body making it. So it works really well. So yeah, anyway, I've just been curious about that because it's like if it's something that will help a little bit, um, then why not try it? And it might be something for, if you haven't tried it yourself, then it might be something to try. I'm not a doctor, so this is not medical advice. This is just something that I've read on the internet, so any old asshole could have written it. But if you do your own research and then decide if it's something, if you are trying to do it for weight loss, if it's something that you would like to try to see if it might help, maybe it would, maybe that could be something that we could use to get past plateaus when we have plateaus or something, or if we get, seem to get yeah stuck at a certain point, then maybe supplementing with L-lysine for a little bit might help us get over that hump. I don't know. It's just something to think about. Anyway, um, that's going to be a quick one for this evening, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.